fingers. We have fingers. And we have the mic because when I fixed the webcam, I lost the mic. But hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully you can see my fingers. All right. So I'm probably going to delete the other one uh, eventually. So this is the actual part four. If you're watching this and confused why I'm waving my fingers and talking about fingers, we just started the live stream and for some reason the webcam was completely just frozen. Um, no matter what I did, no matter what I unplugged or did something on here, it just wouldn't work. So in the end I just had to close everything down and reopen it up again and we're back. So thank you all for joining us. I hope everyone's come over. I see six people are watching. I see Brickable Cow is in the chat. Is anyone else out there? Hello, is anyone out there? That was me impersonating the Welsh guy in Titanic when they're in the lifeboat and they go back and everyone's frozen. Yeah. Is there anybody out there? We came back too late. Anyway, um, so this is the figures. I'm gonna start building. Right. Okay. Let's let's do some building, shall we? Because uh, we've already wasted. 15 minutes so I know I'm gonna need that I know I'm gonna need some of these I did put a link in the uh, the live chat of the old one so I'm gonna try it again do you know what's funny is that last of my streams I was trying to post about it on my Instagram story and Instagram went down and I couldn't tell anyone on Instagram this time, I can tell people on Instagram, but now they've all got the wrong link, so, uh... And I, cause my camera wasn't working, so... Two streams, two technical issues... Maybe it's a sign from the streaming gods that I shouldn't stream, I don't know. Uh, how's that camera? Is that is that in focus? It looks like it's in focus from my end. You're gonna have to tell me, though. Um, cause I got, you got a little itty-bitty picture on my stream labs of that, so... Right. Try again. Cursed, I tell you. I know, Cal, right? I don't know. Did these things ever happen to you? Or was it just me? So, bag 14 we're on, and the episode it says in the instructions for this one is Fear of Victory, which is a cool episode. It's the one where Scarecrow is winning money on uh, sports events by basically um, rigging the game by drugging up the uh, the star players with fear gas that is activated by adrenaline and Dick Grayson aka Robin also unwittingly gets uh, exposed to it to the point where he can't like stand <laughs> two feet off the ground without becoming a nervous wreck which is saying something for someone who was a trapeze artist trapeze artist yeah I don't know what's the term an acrobat? Okay. It's totally focused. Uh, I don't think it's totally focused. I can't really let go on each piece. Oh, okay. Well. How is that? Are oh, you just pranking me? Oh. Does that look okay? Tell me if that looks okay. Was anyone else here besides Cal? Is he the only person who came over? Moo. Dang technology. Absolutely. I, oh, I see people 35. There you go. Okay. I was only pony. <laughs> ah. I had a feeling, but I wasn't one hundred percent sure. You got me. Oh, Mrs. Cracker was also here. Yeah, you're here in the room with me. <laughs> Mrs. Cracker was sat behind me. She's on sticker duty because I hate stickers. I don't think they're gonna pick up your voice, but. 
Mrs. Crackle's talking. She's replying to what I'm saying. But I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> Mrs. Crackle says, Moo to you too. <laughs> Uh, I was only playing, uh, pu oh, pull it, play it, pull it, I got it, yeah. Pull in your leg, let go, let go of me. I understood, eventually. So how is everyone doing this evening, this afternoon, this morning, whatever it is, wherever it may be that you are? How are we all doing? How's our Saturday been? Good? Are you already dreading Monday? Even though you got Sunday in before that? <laughs> Crack of behave. Who's misbehaving? I see Dead People says, it's been quite a lazy Saturday for me. I've done nothing but laze around. That sounds like a good Saturday. Uh, how's my Saturday been? It's been alright. Uh, I've actually been fairly productive. I managed to finally edit the latest uh, episode of the Unsorted Podcast. So we recorded it live, I think, not this week, last week. I've just got round to editing the uh, the podcast version, so... That will be going up on Spotify and everywhere that uh, you can find good podcasts. And bad podcasts, I guess, as well. <laughs> but that's going up on Monday. Brickball Cow says, I'm setting up the train for my fairgrounds with my son. Awesome. That's really cool. Sounds like a great way to uh, oops, that's going on, spend the Saturday building Lego with your son. Am I building off camera again? Should I have it in focus down here or up here? I don't know. Yeah, it is awkward. I, again, if you've missed the other streams, you might not hear me ranting about this. If you have, then you're probably sick of death and hearing it. But I have a thin sliver of visibility between my microphone and my camera. I'm aware, you know, I'm the person who set this up. It's just I'm working with the limited space that I have at the moment uh, at my desk. So. And this isn't, like, exactly a small set to build. What's my podcast called? It's called Unsorted. It's uh, me, Joe of Skylab Bricks. I don't know if he's come over. He was on the other one. And uh, sometimes Sam Jones, the Brick Keeper, although we recently had Space Time Brick Studio on the latest episode filling in for him. Oh, I'm go this is going to be tricky. I got to now add this to the main build, uh, which is again to be of a substantial size. Does it? I love the text at the top, but that is also proven to be a bit unwieldy. Going down. There we go. How was that? Is that down? I think so. Okay. Yeah, check out the uh, the Unsorted podcast. It's got its own YouTube channel, but it's also on uh, Spotify and, I don't know, Apple Podcasts? I don't know. All the places that you listen to podcasts. I should know, but Sam takes care of the uh, that side of things. I just do the editing. And, well, we both take it in turns. But. Uh, I edited this one. So, if it's shit... Blame me. I don't think it's shit though. It actually, had a lot of fun recording it. Build it here. 
video. I don't know if you can see it just on the top of the webcam there. Let me just pull up a little bit. You can see Batman. One of the few printed pieces in this set. That is the only thing with this set, is that there is a shit ton of stickers. And I don't like stickers, but other than that, I am really enjoying this set. blind. Right. Let's grab those from over there. I'm going to ask Mrs. Craggle. Have you done a Mrs. Craggle? Have you done a um, Instagram story with a new link, by the way? Yes, I have. Ah, it's excellent. Very it's very plain. <laughs> oh, well. Not like my flashy ones. <laughs> we still talk about Instagram stories or underwear now? Instagram stories. Instagram stories, okay. Just checking. And uh, if you are here, don't forget to give the stream a like. I saw some likes on the last one, but obviously that went the way of the dodo, so I would appreciate it if you could give this one a like too. It's here. I, I, yeah, I was being blind. I found it. There we go. Ooh, these are cool. These tile pieces. I like these. Let's see if I can adjust the camera a little bit. So at least it's kind of in focus on the bit that we're building. Cow says, I'm still here, I'm going between rooms, may not hear everything. That's cool, appreciate you being here. And sticking with us, uh, you know, we have to move over to a different stream. It'll probably only be a short one today, just like uh, an hour maybe. But I'll try not to leave it as long before the next one. Skylab Joe is here. Did you change your name just because of what I said? Glad you're up and running. I know, right? Just uh, honestly. Like, my streams aren't particularly well known for their high production values anyway, but that, that took the mech even by my standards. Have I missed a step up, or is that... That seems... I missed a piece off, that's why. There you go. That should go there. Uh huh. Yes, I changed my name for your sake. <laughs> well, good. I was just telling everyone, Joe, that they should uh, 
Make sure to listen to the Unsorted podcast and that there's going to be a new episode available on Spotify and whatnot on Monday. Really good time recording that episode with uh, the space time. We do need to do a new uh, a new episode soon. Don't know whether we're gonna have uh, Mr. Sam Jones back yet. Well, we will eventually, but we don't know if he's gonna be back for the next episode. We're gonna do one when he's available, or never get uh, never guess. Is it only Spotify for your podcast? No, it should be um, it should be wherever podcasts are available. Hiding behind my visibility. <laughs> Nine out of ten doctors say we'll put hair on your toenails. <laughs> Is that nine out of every ten, or just the ten that we picked <laughs> and paid to say it, and one of them wanted more money? I was just in the market for something like that. Good, 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 good. Oh no, I was right. I just need to put. Oh man, am I that? Am I getting everything wrong on this build? No. How does how does that work? I don't even know how that works. Okay, they go up. This bit is a bit confusing. I gotcha. Ah, okay, that's quite cool. Not immediately clear that they've got to be up a little bit on the instructions, if I'm honest, but once you figure it out, that's, that's pretty cool. Oh, and I've just dropped a piece on the floor. Okay. Yes, please. The bribe didn't take on the last one. Now we only have ten. <laughs> Jacob Neely's here. Sorry I'm late. I had to go to the store. I'm getting ready for work. I can't believe that you're a working man now, my man. I'm glad that you found us, though, because we did have to change streams because uh, the first one... It just wasn't working for us, you know. We had to just, you know, go our separate ways. It was a amicable split, but you know, these things don't always work out. <laughs> yes, it is, Jacob Neely. He lives. <laughs> was there some doubt about that? I mean, he did miss uh, the first two in this series, I think. Or he came for the last few minutes of the second one, I think. Which is shocking, because in this is Batman, the animated series. It's like, it's got Jacob Neely written all over it, you know? I didn't realize there was some doubt into whether or not he was currently still breathing. Okay, so this one's been 
be something we build separately and then add on it. Is that touched by a chicken? <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like that's some sort of in-joke that I don't know about. Oh my word. Same old Jacob. Skylove says, I can see the assassins I, I had apparently missed. Oh no. <laughs> what did Jacob do to uh, an assassination attempt from you, Joe? Also, this one's definitely missing the piece. Unless there's one in the bag, this is definitely missing a, a brown stud, which is weird because they should give you a fair one. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. And do you know when I say it's definitely missing the piece? Yeah. Um, <laughs> moving right along. Oh. It's hard. It's hard building on a live stream, man. I'm also trying to see like round the corner of this set now where the parts are it's uh it's tricky i've been lurking jacob says ooh that's a bit creepy know now that Jacob not only has a job, oop, not the webcam, he also has a, a girlfriend as well. He's all grown up, our little Jacob. He's only been married, have a house and ten kids. Maybe. And they grow up to be big heads real quick. <laughs> Ten kids, I hope not. And dogs, what about the dogs? I heard that Jacob Needy's not a dog person. I'm making that up, I don't know, forever he is or isn't. But yeah, dogs are good. Dogs are better than people. <laughs> I'm not saying that out loud. Uh... That's tickle Mrs. Craggle, by the way, Jacob. You made her laugh. No pets. Oh, Jacob doesn't like pets. Wow. I wonder why. Is it because you're too much of an animal yourself? Especially in the bedroom, huh? <laughs> Right, that is bag 14 done. Let's move on to uh, bag 15. Bag 15 says, I am the knight. I am vengeance. I was about to ask, is this a not safe for work cast? Is that right? Can not flip last. Oh, you mean stream? I mean, 
not to the extent that unsorted is, but generally I think people know that if you're watching Cut the Craggle now, there's going to be some mild... Some what? Some mild adult content, the wife said. I mean, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, I was going to say some mild language. But apparently, uh, the wife is in the mood for some adult content. I needed a laugh today. Oh, well, I'm glad that we can be of service. Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, on a Cut the Crackle stream, you get sometimes a bit of uh, choice language and uh, innuendo. But uh, apparently we're going the whole hog. Mrs. Crackle just wants to see someone get their dick out on my live stream, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Are you alright back there? I'm scared. I don't know what I meant. What? what? That's not what you meant. <laughs> oh dear. And <laughs> Apparently she's been misunderstood. She meant like swear and innuendo. She didn't mean anything else. Just a very poor choice of words by my wife. Skinner Max rating. Hey, David Austin's here. Hello. Good to see you, David. Have you just joined or have you been watching and lurking? By the way, Joe, you do realise now that you're the only one on this stream who isn't a channel member now. Everyone in the chat is a channel member, apart from you, so, uh, you know, just something to think about. Just saying. Krakow, you should really have a... a down with the missus? Oh, it cuts off the, on here, it cuts off the message for a little bit. A sit down with the missus. I'm not going to say what I'm thinking because I, I don't want this stream to go, go too racy. <laughs> this is a Batman the Animated Series episode and yes, the cartoon is uh, a lot more mature than most uh, cartoons. I don't think it needs any more. Like... Oh, Mrs. Crago, you sent us down a path, didn't you? She's sorry, she says. I don't know if you hear her. Lurking for a few minutes. Ah, oh, fair enough. Uh, Brickable Coward says, Yes, I've been keeping my loyalties to you, King Krago. I appreciate that. Thank you, Brickable Cow. Remember, you can become a channel member too for the low, low price of 99 pence or 99 cents. Other currencies are available and you will get access to a heap of exclusive new content. Existing past content that is available only to channel members. Special secret channels on my Discord server. And you also get a cool beard emoji that changes color the longer you are a member. How was that? Was that okay for self-promotion? Apparently I'm getting better because I've had practice on the podcast. At the end of the podcast, we uh, we plug our pluggables, as my friend Joe would say. Hey, Ice Temple 35 has used her member's super chat that says she's been a member for 38 months. 38 months. That is insane. Thank you so much for all your support. Wow. That's insane. And she's got that snazzy green beard. Wow. Do you know, for a second, when I heard the notification come up, I did briefly think that, wow, Joe has pulled the trigger and become a child member. But no. Because <laughs> it's the same notification if you use... I think it's once a month you get a free special super chat. And it, Streamlabs reads it the same as if someone's becoming a channel member. So. Oh. 
<laughs> David Austin, I just realised those emojis were beards. I thought they were colourful owls. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, you know, that's one way. That's advice for people out there who can't grow a beard. If you're having trouble growing facial hair, you can substitute a beard with a colourful owl. I don't know what the bird sanctuary is going to think about that, though. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Skylab says, Catwoman's boobers gave me the hard tingles when I was a kid. That show was borderline sometimes. Yeah, I, I honestly, I, I was mentioned this before, I really dislike how Catwoman was done in the animated series. It's one of the few characters where I don't think they ever really got to grips with it. Her design was fantastic though, so I completely understand where you're coming from there. Uh, I liked how it was kind of a cross between the old 60s um, Catwoman costume with a little bit of Michelle Pfeiffer thrown in as well. Um, but yeah, characterization wise, she was all over the shop. Like, she was really unlikable. She was a cat burglar, but then she was also like a environmentalist. And it was just, oh. Yeah. It, her characterization got better when they focused just on sort of like, you know, the, the thief aspect of it in the new Batman Adventures. But the revamp design, oh, she looked hideous. So, uh, yeah, Catwoman was one they never really nailed. Sadly. But you had some cool imagery, though. <laughs> some arousing imagery in the case of uh, Joe Chambers. Uh, <laughs> Sam Jones says, Skylab Brick? Skylab Joe? Is that Joe? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, if you're on a phone, go to where you would normally donate and you should see the option for the milestone badge. Oh, okay. Oh, right, you're answering Pickable Cow's question. I get that, okay. <laughs> and David asks, uh, did Michelle Pfeiffer do it for you, Skylab, as Catwoman? Oh, yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer is... Yeah. I mean, they completely changed her origin story in Batman Returns, but I still love that film. It's very much Tim Burton's Batman as opposed to your regular Batman. Uh, he dials up the Burton-esque to 100 from Batman 89. But yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer in that film. Wow. And do you know she did? Do you know the scene where Michelle, um, where Selina Catwoman um, decapitates these mannequins with her bullwhip? That was actually Michelle Pfeiffer. She learned how to do that. So cool. Wait, what if Skylab Joe isn't Joe, but is an imposter pretending to be Joe? This is it, Jacob. How do we know he's legit? I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> also, I just noticed he said, why would I become a member? I can <laughs> harass you for free. <laughs> wow. And uh, Brickable Cow has been a member for one year, six months and seven days. Wow, fantastic. Thank you so much. Huh? 17 days. What did I say? My well, family said seven days. I don't know. Mrs. Crack was correcting me in the background. That's what she's here for. Yes, Sam, it's me. I'm building a mini scale Millennium Falcon while listening to Crackle mumble on. Wow. Rude. I thought you were going to be learning 80s metal songs whilst listening to me mumble on. Because apparently Joe has, uh, he's fallen in love with uh, 80s metal. Spaceships and no money figs and also spaceships. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that sounds like Joe to me. I believe him. That ballroom scene where she has her hair. You know, Batman was rocking that barang when she said semi-hard. Ah.
comment. Okay, Joe, if this is really you, what was in the blender? That's a good question. I might just stuck two pieces together. That shouldn't be together. I can't even do it on camera. There you go. I'm still told you. Oh, hair up. I, I Okay, I get what you mean. I understand now, yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer is fine. And I say is because she still is. Oh, I'm knocking everything today. Just accidentally punched my light. Luckily, I didn't punch my lights out. Let's get it. Okay, we're on to bag 16. These have only been small bags so far. This one says it's Robin's Reckoning Part 1. Oh, Robin's Reckoning. That's the one that goes into the backstory of Dick Grayson. It tells you how his parents died and how he got adopted by Bruce Wayne. And in, the, in that story as well, Tony Zuko, the guy that murdered Dick Grayson's parents is voiced by Thomas Wilson who played Biff in Back to the Future. And we all know how I feel about Back to the Future. I love it. I do. I love me some Back to the Future. I, I still don't think it's Joe. I think we can only know it's Joe if he actually puts his credit card details in and becomes a channel member. What do you what do you reckon, chat? The story checks out. Mm. Well, that just means that he watched the uh, the live broadcast, right? Fuck off. Am I excited about Back to the Future Part 4? Fuck off. They've already said that there won't be any sequels or remakes whilst they still hold the rights. Because um, they own the rights to it, luckily, not the studio. Uh, Bob Gale and uh, Robert Zemeckis, the creators. Here is more proof it's actually me. Spaceships. Well, now I just think it's Benny from the Lego movie. Are you Charlie Day? If you are, can you tell me why you and Chris Pratt keep on getting cast in every single animated movie ever? I think Joe wouldn't degrade himself with the likes of us making a YouTube account. I mean, he's in the chat, so that means he's got a YouTube account, doesn't it? Or can you just do that now if you've got a Gmail account? money are well, you answering my question uh, you are Charlie Day then so you're not Joe oh 
Let's see, this is this is not got good. Put any you put pressure on to put on the next lot of pieces, and the bottom bit comes undone. I'm sure the final thing will be. Uh, I mean, if I do it on the ground, it's probably the ground on the desk. It's probably easier. But where's the fun in that? Oh, you're getting to see now is my sleeve now. <sighs> How soon will it be before AI starts building Lego sets on YouTube? I think it already is. People are already doing stuff. I mean, crazily, there was a Lego Ninjago quiz or something, and the artwork on it was AI. It was. We do want to do a, an AI topic on our unsorted podcast. I feel like me and Joe are going to have different opinions about it, though. I'm very much against AI art, because basically AI art is just theft. All it's doing is taking... A uh, a collect you know, it's basically going scouring through other people's artwork, you know, analyzing it in terms of like code and stuff, and then just regurgitating an approximation based off that without the database or you know, the, the, the resource of existing artwork, it can do anything. gonna die in the sky net anyway so where's that <laughs> oh, did I do that right yeah I did that right oh Joe actually agrees with me okay I don't know why I thought you were Pro AI art. I don't know why. Hmm. Must have misunderstood something. Uh, Jacob says, "I style my back cave mock. Awesome. Looking forward to seeing that." Some that is some really cool snap building technique, right? Honestly, Joe, yeah, I know you're uh, you enjoy finding new building techniques. You would find some cool ones in this. You know, I know obviously this is a scene build, but you know, you I feel like you could apply some of this stuff, particularly like the snap techniques, to a uh, spaceship building. I mean, if it wasn't for AI art, we wouldn't have that dreadful Wonka experience <laughs> in Glasgow. Which apparently they're making a film about now. AI is basically a college art student. Harsh. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, all fairs, I remember being frustrated when I was doing GCSE art and... Uh, I had ideas for artwork I wanted to create and they were like, oh, you have to keep on linking it back. You need to link it back to artists you've been inspired by. And I was like, I would. Like, you know, I'd put on there like my influences and stuff, but they would constantly go, oh no, you need to, you need to have more references. And I'm like, what? I've got three of this piece. But I should have a, a reddish brown one. I've got three of the nougat piece. I'm not even lying. I actually do not have Huh. Well. 
no, I should have four nougat in total and two reddish brown. Instead, I've got five nougat and one reddish brown. Luckily, I've got a pot of spurs. Oh, that's dark brown. Oh. Funny enough, I got a nougat spare as well. There we go, right at the bottom. I got a spare one. Hey. Actually, had a missing piece for a change. It's where Mrs. Crackle looks at the bag and it was there. AI is the autocomplete on your phone after drinking a 12 pack of Red Bone Stolt and a crushed up Adderall? I don't know what Adderall is though. But I get the idea. What are you saying, Mrs. Crackle? Well, this is a crushed up thing, so I don't think it's a drink. Drug. It's not talking about drugs, but get demonetized. Oh, we got a sticker. Sticker for this piece, number 14, please. Joe, that's the best selling what? Best selling point I've ever heard. Why is it cutting it off? Oh. That's the best selling point I've ever heard for AI. I subscribe to that. Oh no. Alderol is what some people take for their ADHD and it is a stimulant. Oh okay. I mean one of my favourite Christmas movies that I love is uh National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation and there's a lion there he goes holy shit where's the Tylenol and uh, I used to laugh but I never knew what Tylenol was until we w went to America in New York and I had a headache and I went to a pharmacy into a Walgreens and I asked for some paracetamol and uh, they were like what? And I was like paracetamol it's just like an over the over the counter you know you don't need a prescription for like pain relief and they were like we don't have paracetamol we have Tylenol and I was like ah that's what Chevy Chase meant all those years ago on Christmas Eve. So, yeah. Mrs. Crackle said she found it weird that it came in what looked like a sweet tube. <laughs> I was just grateful for some pain relief because that headache was killing me. <laughs> Oh, that is cool. Did you see how that slotted in? Yeah, baby. Right, we've been going for 50 minutes. How big is bag 17? It's a bit bigger. Do you reckon we can do bag 17 in 10 minutes? What do you reckon? Heart of Ice, it says in this one. Ooh, we have some Mr. Free stuff. Yeah, let's do it. Boo, stickers, yeah. I concur. I'll put these ones by here. Oh, yeah, that might help, having the small pieces separate. It might help, it might not help. Who knows? We'll give it a go. Do it. Yeah, there is a little bit of a delay, sorry. <laughs> I probably should have waited. Yes, you can do it. Okay. Good to have the uh, vote of confidence. I hope I don't disappoint you. I already have. I put down the wrong corner. Ah, oh, give me a minute. Where's my brick separator? <laughs> that didn't take long to disappoint, did it? Is fixed. Fixed like nothing ever happened. Hey Michael, hello. How are you doing? 
Welcome, welcome. Joe, I don't think Joe is even actually subscribed to me. I should turn on subscriber only chat and see uh, <laughs> see if he's no longer able to speak to us. Is getting in the way. The joys of having long hair and a beard. No. I mean, there's one by ones here, but there's also one by ones here. There we go. I got it. Don't quit on your crowd lights now. <laughs> Not. What? Oh, wow. You are. I'm guessing you don't have your subscriptions uh, public because if you did have your subs public and you subscribed, it would have popped up with a cool notification. Cool Batman one. There are custom notifications on these streams for people becoming channel members, uh, subscribing only if you're got public uh, subscriptions and also for super chats if anyone's being extra generous as well but honestly the best thing you can do for me is be here watching the stream and maybe hit the like button Lots of fiddly one by one tiles now. This could get dicey. Oh, I just nothing off. Where did I knock that off from? So that off there. I think so. Yeah. but I'll try and take it on the chin because I am enjoying this set. Uh, what's that? Have I done the wrong ones? No, I have as well. Well, these ones are the wrong ones anyway, so I should be okay to get off. On my screen they look like they were brown, but they're black. What? 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 Joe just become a channel member. Wow. Thank you, Joe. Honestly. Wow. <laughs> See, kids, that's what bullying can do. <laughs> it can get someone to sign up to a 99 cent subscription for you. <laughs> Honestly, though, Joe, thank you. Glad to have you aboard. Whether you want to be here or not. Oh, I just dropped the piece again. <laughs> we are now beard buddies. Yay! Yeah, congratulations on your brown owl. <laughs> it's not an owl, it's a beard. Come on! It's not an owl, not a doll. You're not sending me to the cooler. Welcome, beware. Peer pressure, yeah. <laughs> right. What made Joe subscribe to cut the craggle? Peer pressure! That was that, 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 that accent went funny then. That wasn't my uh, best impression. I apologize. 
Come on, I'm right here. This is bullshit. I'll stop now. <laughs> Mrs. Crackle says she likes my Arnie impressions. Someone's got to. Woohoo! Yeah. He's gone quiet now. <laughs> he's like, right, I'm leaving now. Hello, he's back. There. Don't you feel bad? Don't you, you know? Don't you feel bad now that you've got the uh, the beard next to your name? And your name is in green text as well now. It's all special. One of us. One of us. Oh no, Mrs. Craggle. We have two stickers. Number 22, ducks in a row. Number 39, 39. I'll be careful with the stickers. The impression isn't bad. <laughs> That's the sound of immediate regret. <laughs> Not gonna lie, the brown beard looks like a turd. Wow, okay, so Jacob's getting timed out. It says my beard looks like a turd. I can't click on him because he's... Oh, that's sly. Can I click on him? There you go. Put user in timeout. One minute. Go on. Only one minute. It's <laughs> it deletes all the comments, though. I don't know why it does that. It deletes all the comments. But, yeah. <laughs> Saying my beard looks like a turd. What the hell? Wow. There we go. Anyway. <laughs> it's not a turd. Not at all. What is two? Sorry. That's twenty-two. Okay. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Nice to see you. Wait. <laughs> Joe wants to be timed out. Wait, how do I get to time out? Basically, you insult me enough, and then I time you out, or one of the mods will. No, don't time him out, because that's what he wants. His time out is supposed to be a punishment. You're not meant to want to be timed out. I still can't believe Jacob said my beard looks like a turd. You haven't even seen my beard. Well, I mean, I guess he means the emoji, but still. That's based on actual events. We didn't finish this bag in 10 minutes, but I have no regrets because we got Joe Chambers to become a channel member. You know what else this means now, Joe? When I do most of my videos, your name gets to be at the end of it when I say thank you to all my channel members. That is the wrong piece. Um, <laughs> How do we really know you have a beard? Have a beard. Mrs. Crackle just said I have a beard. Sam see me. Joe see me. They know I have a beard. I'll do a face reveal when I hit 50,000 subscribers, which will probably be never, because my channel, like, the trajectory of my channel has just nosedived. That's why I appreciate you if you're here, because everyone else has just left. And no one else has joined in, so. It's my own fault. Not being consistent, not keeping up with the trends. But there you go. 
Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> In fact, I don't if well you are a channel member, David, so you can have access to the vlog where I meet uh, Joe, and his exact words upon seeing me for the first time was, "Oh no, he's exactly how I imagined." <laughs> you know, read into that what you will. I did actually ask Mrs. Craggle the other day if I should shave off my beard. No. She, yeah, that exactly. I don't know if you heard that. No. She was. She had quite a violent negative reaction to that idea. I was like, you know, I've had this for a few years now. Should I, should I get rid of it? No. No, no, no. Ah, oh, Joe. No worries. It's been good having you here. Hopefully it's not been too traumatizing for your your soul or your wallet. But thank you for hanging out with us. Hey, Jacob's alive. What is the beard hiding? <laughs> I don't know, man. Chicks dig the beard, I guess. Before I grew a beard, she wasn't massively keen on me growing one. She was like, mm, well, you know, it's, it's your face. Now she doesn't want me without a beard, so. <laughs> See it, Joey Benny. <laughs> He's not dying. <laughs> He's just going to go play some 80s metal with his friends. His actual friends, as opposed to his YouTube friends that bully him into becoming a channel member. <laughs> sizes here. Okay, so a smaller one on the bottom. I feel like Jacob's quieter now after being timed out than he was before. <laughs> that really supposed to go like that? No, I've missed a step out. Oh, well, it's not a step out, it's a little bit. Un annoyingly, my uh, laptop is actually blocking part of my monitor, and I didn't realize that like, I gotta attach these to this first. That makes more sense. There we go. The snot techniques on this are awesome. It's love to see how things come together. I'm glad that I didn't watch too many videos or look too much into the pictures and try and analyze how this was built beforehand because just the experience of it unfolding as you put it together is so much fun.
it looks like a really fun build. It is. It is a really fun build. Yeah. Um, it, it totally isn't my usual bag. Um, you know, primarily I go for mini thick scale sets, and I do like you know scenes and buildings, but not particularly like landscapes like this. Um, But uh, I'm really, really enjoying it. Funny enough, I had a similar experience with the first kind of UCS vehicle I built, which was the 89 Batmobile. And I got that because I'm a massive Batman, Michael Keaton fan. And uh, yeah, totally enjoyed that one. Which surprised me because I kind of felt like beforehand going into it, I thought I was going to enjoy the finished product but not perhaps enjoy the process as much but I love that build and I'm in, loving this build as well oh now Jacob's leaving us as well on the way to work oh okay well thank you for joining us Jacob for the time that you were here even if you did say my beard looked like a turd David says, have you heard the rumors of a 1966 Batmobile on UCS size? I haven't. That would be awesome, though. I mean, I love that. Well, I, I, it's UCS. It's, it's been a bit of crossover with UCS and, I guess, Creator Expert, or whatever that is now is. Um, with the DeLorean and the Ecto-1, they were kind of basically Creator Expert sets. Um, UCS sets, sorry, but they didn't have the plaque. Did, no, Ecto-1 didn't have the plaque. I don't think, did DeLorean have the plaque? I think DeLorean might have had a plaque. I can't remember now. I can't remember, but having the 89 Batmobile, the DeLorean, and Ecto-1. The DeLorean does have a plaque, yeah, okay. Did it do a plaque for Ecto-1? Ah, oh, that's shameful. Those are some of my iconic uh, childhood vehicles. I'd also love to see, like, Kit, um, maybe the Mystery Machine, what was that? Mystery Machine, Mrs. Crackle says, yeah. Well, that was our wedding car, so. But yeah, and, yeah, 1966 Batmobile, UCS one would be very, very cool. <laughs> Jacob is leaving. I'm back. <laughs> oh, wow. It's like that, is it, cow? Ely, you said you come back. I wonder what could have happened between you. Sorry, was I building off camera again? I don't know. I have a habit of doing that. Oh, nice. Cool, and that is bag 17 done. So we've done 14, 15, 16, 17. We've done four bags. I'm not bad in just over an hour so we're gonna call it there for tonight um thank you everyone for watching please hit the like button if you haven't already and if you haven't already please subscribe as well uh thanks to everyone in the chat who's been here brickable cow david austin jacob neely 
Skylab Joe. Thank you, Skylab Joe, as well, for becoming a channel member. Uh, let me scroll up on here. Uh, who else has been here? Michael was here as well. Am I forgetting anyone else? I said we're 35. How could I forget you? Mrs. Craggle. Sam Jones. Uh, I think that's about it. Also, if you were here and you were silent but deadly, thank you again <laughs> for watching. And uh, I don't know when the next uh, installment's going to be, but hopefully it won't be as long in between installments. Hopefully, you know, I'll be back sooner rather than later. Until next time, I hope you're all happy. Uh, I'll be happy, safe, and healthy. And <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye.